So my last video was about how to create a rainbow brush in Adobe Illustrator. And in the comment section for that video, someone asked how I actually made a path going like this. So that's what we're going to answer in this video. So to create a path that goes in these precise shapes, we need to build it by using multiple basic shapes. Let me show you what I mean. So on the reference path right here, we can imagine a straight line going right through the path. So let's start off by using the line tool, hold down the shift key to make a straight line and draw a straight vertical line. Then to create these left and right turn, we want to use circles so we can get this curve right here. So pick the ellipse tool, hold down the shift key to make a perfect circle and create a circle like this. Then pick the selection tool and drag this circle until it snaps to the vertical line. It is very important that it snaps. Then in my case, I was using two circles just to extend the left turn a little bit. So simply hold down the ALT key and make a duplication of this circle and place it to the left of the original circle. And again, it is very important that it snaps to the first circle. So as you can see, we start off by creating a basic shape and then we will refine it later. So this is the vertical line and the left turn. Then on the reference, we can see that the left turn continues into the right turn. So simply select these two circles, duplicate them and place the duplications right here. And make sure that the top of the duplications aligns with the bottom of the original circles. And also that the left side of these two new circles snaps to the vertical line. So here we basically have the left turn and the right turn. And the path would go like this. So as you can see, we still need a lot of refinement. So the reference path is a straight line. And the path we just made goes very wavy like this. So we need to close the gap between these circles. To do this, simply select the line tool, go to this anchor point right here, and it's very important that you click on the anchor point. Then drag a straight line to this anchor point right here. Then go to this anchor point right here and drag a straight line all the way over to this anchor point right here. Then lastly, drag a straight line from this anchor point right here to this anchor point right here. And here we have our straight lines. Then we need these lines to merge into the vertical line with a soft curve. To create this soft curve, simply pick the selection tool, select this circle right here and create a duplication of this circle and place it on top of the original. And here we are going to use this quarter of the circle to create the curvy line. And of course we are going to do the same thing in the bottom. So here we actually have our path. It goes from here, follows the curve of this circle right here, follow the straight line from the line tool and uses the curve from this circle right here and so on for the rest of the path. But right now it's just shapes and we still need to create the actual path. To do this, simply select all the shapes, pick the shape builder tool, hold down the alt key to get this minus sign next to the cursor and subtract all the parts of the paths that we don't need. And before we delete these two lines right here, it is very important that we release the ALT key to get a plus sign next to the cursor and click on these two shapes right here, just one time on each shape. This will merge this highlighted part into one single shape and this shape as well. This will make it much more likely that we succeed in creating this path without bugs. After clicking one time on each shape, we can then again push down the ALT key to subtract and subtract these lines right here. And here we have the path. But right now, the path is separated into smaller paths and we want one long path. So if we pick the selection tool, we can see that I can select this path right here and this path and this path and this path, which we don't want. We want one single path. So select all the paths, go to object, go to path, and go to join. And now we have one single path that we can apply any kind of brush to. Thank you for watching.